Hello Aquarius, it is me Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see, ooh, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Mm, two cards, Page of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. This right out the, right out the gate, it kind of feels like uh, troubling times financially. We have the three and a four swords, the four pentacles, and two pages. This kind of feels like right out the gate, Aquarius, that some of you guys should be doing work that you love to do. Um, I'm also hearing from a relationship standpoint, it kind of feels like there could be trouble in paradise. Something that was expected uh, for the longer term. Uh, could be in jeopardy. Um, three of Swords, you could have found out some uh, damaging or hurtful news and information, but it looks as though there could be a valid explanation, but it feels like somebody has jumped the gun, maybe stopped communication, blocked communication, so they can go off and marinate. Oh, okay. This feels like the, tr uh, what is what is that game? Two truths and a lie? Right, I feel like somebody might have lied to you or you thought somebody might have lied to you and the person kind of came back and explained their position and situation, professed their love to you, but it's almost like you don't necessarily believe it. Um, I feel like you kind of withdrew, possibly even shut down and now you are kind of marinating, ruminating on you know this particular situation. And it feels like some sort of long ter long term situation could be work, could be a family member, could be a relationship. I don't know if it's a relationship as of yet, but it just kind of feels like um, so if somebody uh, placed some sort of doubt in your head, in your mind about the longevity of something. Um, I really do feel like it is school or work related. You know, maybe some of you guys found out you're not going to be graduating on time. You know, there was a secret credit or a secret course you should have taken. And now you're trying to figure out, say, for instance, what are the next steps? What am I going to do next? Also, at the same time, I also did get some sort of layoff, right? Where, you know, you could be furloughed. Your hours have your hours could have been cut. But I feel like it's almost like the universe may be working with you, Aquarius, on work-life balance, right? So in other words, if you did experience any sort of shortages or, um, you know, things getting cut off, things getting derailed, keep in mind, we're in the shadow period of the Mercury retrograde, that's first. But the second thing is, it was almost like we took away your time or energy or money from here because we want you to work on this over here. That's the message I'm getting. With the Four of Swords and the, the Magician card, yeah, a lot of you guys need to be thinking about what it is you really want, what it is you want to attract, what is it you want you that you really, really, really desire, right? I feel like you are coming out of maybe a stable um, situation, could be related to your finances, could be home, again, a relationship. I do have the lovers on the table, so instinctually, I kind of feel like your hours could have been cut back at work or something happened at work. Yeah, at the same time, it could have devastated you. It could be affecting you, especially financially, but I do kind of feel like there is a beautiful silver lining here, Aquarius, that you may not yet be aware of. And here with the Hermit and then also the Four of Swords and then also the Four of Pentacles, yeah, you are taking time out. You're taking time to investigate. You're taking time to think about something, to analyze, to mull something over before figuring out, say, for instance, what you're going to say, what you're going to do, and what your next step is. Um, yeah, it kind of feels like, you know, definitely with the Scorpio energy, something ended so something else could begin. Now, let me just put that in perspective. Angels are wanting me to put that in perspective, right? Say you lost your job. Well, if you lost your job, guess what? You lost your job so you can go to school, get your degree of certification so you could change careers and make more money, right? That's the energy I'm feeling from these four cards. 
So it's like whatever this devastating ending, this abrupt ending was, there is a silver freaking lining. I promise you, Aquarius, it feels like it's even gold. How can I say that? Or why do I say that? It's right here. Right? This is the ending, right? So it's almost like, okay, we ended this long-term, you know, this long-lasting situation. And it hurt, right? It hurt because you were fully invested, right? You were comfortable, you were secure, you were used to this situation, but it ended so something else can begin. There it is right there, right in front of you. Here is a job offer, some sort of new offer that's gonna be lucrative, whether it's financial, energetic, opportunistic, whatever it is. Sun, happiest card at the tarot. Um, at the end of the day, for some of you guys, if it was a relationship, it had to end so you could find your person. So what I'm also getting to is almost like um, the, yeah, this is a hard heart. Yeah. It, I mean, you're a fixed sign. So you like things to remain exactly how they supposed to be, right? Screw all of that change in every other whenever. No, you like things the same. So that's why that three of swords is there because to me, the third sword, the third party is the change, right? Um, there was a change of work, change of management, change of position, change of jobs, and it hurt. It, 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 it kind of threw you out of balance, but here's your new offer. Here's your new offer that's gonna make you happy. Not only that, but with lovers in the Knight of Cups, Here's reciprocal love. If this was a relationship, well, baby, it's because you got new love coming in and it's gonna um, make you the happiest you've ever been. But right now, you don't know that. Right now, you're still kind of going through the, the emotions and emotions of whatever this third party ending was. Yeah, and Angel says it sucks right now for you, Aquarius. For a lot of you guys, you could be depressed, you could be sad. You could still, again, be um, reacting and responding to this ending, this hurtful, painful ending. But baby, keep going forward because you got the light at the end of the tunnel. You got some coins there. You have an opportunity. You have somebody waiting to love you, to embrace you, to say, baby, it'll be okay. I got you. Um, and... Right now, you can't see it. Right now, um, yeah, angels are saying, mm, this is weird because they're showing me like a crab or like a turtle who kind of re retreats back into their shell. You know, go find a quiet corner, you know, think this one out, um, take some time to yourself, shut down, close down, so you can kind of quote unquote mull this over. Now with Scorpio here also on the table too, Scorpio is a sign of transformation, right? So it's almost like you're a beautiful caterp caterpillar that came to an end, universe is budding, so you become the beautiful butterfly or moth. Right now, you don't get it, you don't understand it. You don't understand why any of this is happening, why this change or this transformation is happening. And also at the same time, it's a bit scary, right? This is These, these fours in the tarot are fixed. Right? They're like a coffee table. Four legs, they're erect. They're standing up. Right? So I feel like whatever this was that came to an end, again, sorry to repeat myself, but it um that was falling out and this fell out in my lap. Whatever this was, you were comfortable. You were comfortable. We got the Queen of Pentacles here, right? She's the sign of feminine stability. You were comfortable. It was a perfect situation. This in the King of Pentacles, my Mr. and Mrs. Wright. So it was almost like hand in glove. This situation suited you perfectly. It made you incredibly happy. I can hear some of you guys saying, yeah, Alex, why did it have to go away? Universal answer. So something better could come along. And again, right now you can't feel it because you're still hurting. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, you're struggling. You're struggling to let go. You're struggling to believe. Um, here again, you're struggling to understand why this happened. Aquarius, I will say to you, go with the flow. This is for your benefit. Not only that, but as I say to you, go to go with the flow. I glance over here at the the um, wheel of fortune. Well, that's the flow card. That's universal flow. That's divine order, divine timing. 
So whatever this 10 of pentacles, long-term stable financial situation was, it's coming to an end, but the wheel will keep turning, right? In other words, prosperity is still on its way. And again, I just each time that I say that, I feel your energy as in I feel this energy, this sad, this salt, this um somber energy. But the universe is saying again, we know it's a struggle right now. It's a struggle right now, but it won't it won't last that way for it won't be that way for long. Mm-hmm. Two of cups. Some of you guys are about to fall in love. Some of you guys might have been workaholics right and the universe is like okay aquarius uh you uh, top heavy over here we need to balance you out get rid of some of that struggle that strain so maybe you can work on your love life your connection your relationships yeah that could be with a mate or a partner it could be with family or your dog your dog you know every time you come home your dog's like who the hell is that because you work so much they don't even recognize you anymore yeah you have new love coming in or an opportunity that's going to, how do you say, help you to bounce back. Yeah, you keep going back and forth. This is almost you trying to make sense of, it's almost like trying to figure out on your own or try to come up with your own conclusion or your own, um, your own version of why this happened. And I can't say it any other way other than saying it was the universe, Aquarius. Trust me, I know the universe just comes in with his monkey wrench and his um, screwdrivers and just muck your stuff up. But then the sun shines again. Enlightenment. Like, oh, oh yeah. Now I can see why all of that happened. Yep, within the next few months. And angels are also saying to me too, be careful about your resistance, right? Re be careful about you pushing back and not allowing this change to occur. And again, that's your fixed nature. Recovery, again, I feel like some of you guys are sitting right in this energy of trying to figure out and understand why did this happen? Nope. Get more information. There you go, because you're pondering. Over here, you're pondering. You're trying to figure out what in the hell? <laughs> Choose a new direction. I was just laughing at the what in the hell? Um, yeah, I feel like for a lot of you guys, it was time for a, a universal shift. It was time for a evolutionary shift. It was time for you to learn and grow and move away from your comfort zone. Romance angels, release your ex. It's time to the time has come to clear. Boy, mm, well, okay. And I thought I said it. I'll say it again if I did not, or I'll say it if I did not. I feel like this relationship here was keeping you comfortable and safe, right? It wasn't the greatest situation, but again, you were comfortable. So the universe was like, we don't want you just comfortable. We want you happy and, 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 you know, joyous. So it was almost like we had to tuck this one away so this one can come in. <clears throat> so it kind of felt like an ex, maybe you had a booty call with an ex, you were dipping, dipping and dabbling, dick and dipping. Um, yes, I did just say that. And I feel like that wasn't enough, but also at the same time, you were blocking your ability to bring in the actual love that you want or need, the connections you want or need. Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, lovers. You have a soulmate coming in. You have another cup. So you are on one side with your cup. You're about to meet your other person, your other half. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I would even venture to say, Aquarius, some of y'all may be falling in love. I'm going to put it out there. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. There it is right there. Your lax and laziness in this situation was blocking your manifestations. Ooh. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious um, upbringing and spiritual path. Yeah. And that kind of, yeah, some, some of you were lazy in your manifestation because you were comfortable. I don't, I don't need to manifest anything, God. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. God is looking at you like Aquarius. Seriously. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. And angels are saying self-care. Make sure you take care of yourself. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. 
Mercury retrograde, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. What do you need to release? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? You got the Ten of Wands, right? Expect powerful change. And with the Moon card, the Moon is fear of the unknown, right? So for a lot of you guys, that's probably what kept you comfortable and safe in this position because you were afraid to move on, right? The devil you know versus the devil you don't know. Well, it's like, well, shit, I'm going to chill out with the devil I know because I don't even know, but I don't even want to meet. I don't even want to go through the process of trying to meet somebody and have to get to know them all over again. Lax, lax, and holding on to this okay situation. Universe is saying to you, Aquarius, you're not okay. You're exceptional. We're about to show you exceptional. Okay. I know that's right, Aquarius. I have Sagittarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Leo, Gemini. Pisces, Gemini, Pisces, Virgo, Pisces, <laughs> Gemini, and Virgo. So you got a lot of Mercurian cards here. A lot of Virgo, a lot of Gemini. That's Mercury, right? So yeah, I kind of feel like that communication is key. The universe, you know, kind of um, trying to um, angels are saying, get you out of an old pattern. You know, it was also too, I kind of feel like they've been trying to hint it at you, like sending you signs and synchronicities and messages and dreams and songs and TV show. It was almost like the universe was trying to get you this message for the longest time. Uh, Aquarius, it's time for you to come out of your comfort zone. Aquarius is like snooze, snooze. <laughs> and the universe is like, I'm, I'm gonna break down the whole clock right? I'm gonna cut your electricity off because we ain't gonna let you snooze on this anymore. All right, Aquarius, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you, Aquarius. Bye.